It was a day of reckoning for a once popular Hillsborough County pool company. The state of Florida moved to crack down on the company that we exposed a year ago. And the state construction licensing board heard dozens of cases today against Cox Pools of the Gulf Coast. The company has been the subject of a Better Call Bankin investigation for some questionable business practices. Shannon Bankin was at the hearing today and joins us now. Jane Keith, neither the owner of Cox Pools or the general contractor showed up for that hearing, but that didn't stop the board from revoking their licensing and ordering substantial restitution. My Better Call Bank and investigation into dozens of unfinished pools by Cox Pools of the Gulf Coast caught the attention of Florida's Department of Business and Professional Regulation. And I was there with the Cox Pools customer when the department brought their findings to the State Construction Licensing Board. We listened as 36 cases were presented against two people, company owner Hillary Bello and her licensed general contractor, Scott Hauser of Jacksonville. All in favor? In the end, the board voted to revoke Bellow's construction financial officer license. All three of Hauser's construction licenses were also revoked, despite pleas from his attorney. This action follows last month's arrest of Bellow in Manatee County. She was charged with one felony count of contractor fraud. Customer Wesley Gadsen tells me he's happy with the outcome so far. Gadsen says he paid $53,000 in full to Cox Pools. And then when the company abandoned his job, he had to pay another $48,000 to other companies to fix mistakes and finish the work. Actually, I'm pleased with what happened. I'm pleased with the results. It's a long time coming but I'm happy I wanted to see for myself thank you Shannon if it weren't for you I would never have known about it the work that you did was just incredible the board also ordered both Bello and Hauser to pay restitution of a max of $15,000 for each impacted customer Gaston says he hopes this sends a message to contractors who serve as license holders for other companies you're telling them that you have the right to work under my license then it's your responsibility to make sure that they are working properly under your license. The attorney for Mr. Hauser, the contractor, told me after the meeting that he plans to appeal the decision on restitution, saying his client isn't the one who should be responsible for paying it. Meanwhile, customers in Hillsborough County have been asking whether law enforcement is looking into their cases. Well, I can report tonight that a spokesman for the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office tells me that this situation is under what he called active investigation. So some progress on that front. What do the restoration orders mean for customers, actually? Well, and customers are wondering what this is going to mean and if they're going to get any money at all. It should mean that money should come very quickly, but we know from past cases that this is a very slow process. And whether or not Mr. Hauser or Bellow pay what they've been ordered to pay, consumers should still be able to collect something from the state recovery fund, but that depends on the amount of their damages. And this is a story that I will continue to follow for these consumers. I mean, you followed it for so long now and and I know you'll stay on top of it. Thank you, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin. The number is 1-855-BANKIN or you can reach her on Facebook.